lead. Now he's going to take it back. Texting, texting, texting. We are back on a man up Monday. That is the result of Warren Thomas J's. Another question one, RJ Miliaccio. IDD, for those who know, I don't disagree. Segment two, all back things. Back and forth they go. All things suck and sucker. And that would be in no particular order. The Patriots and the Giants and the Giants. I don't care what order you want to put it in, but they're both there. Um, and the level of sucking is just, I mean, you know, the Giants, uh, you know, everybody's saying Dayball's toast. Why, when is the GM going to be held accountable over there? Because he's putting this piece of shit roster together. So I know Dayball didn't pick this roster. So Cotton know. with a great catch. Man, he laid it. He, he hung him out to dry again. I'm yeah. sorry. Cotton's had a hell of a good night. Dude, look at this. That's Another one of these though. bad throws. That's a fingertip catch. Did you God, he got yes. out of, and he got out of bounds. Stop the clock, baby. No, he didn't. No, his butt hit. Oh. Anyway, we're, as we're talking to you, we're watching um, uh, Tampa Bay trying to rally. And Please don't be Godwin. That's not Godwin. Yes! The penalty is going to Are they going to call it offensive? Oh, that would blow. Um, but anyway, he's one point down or up in his fantasy. And he's got the quarterback for, Cle- for the, the Buccaneers. So it would behoove. Because a touchdown pass would basically win it for him. Yes, on the defense. All right, so that's going to count. If uh, he throws a touchdown to anyone but Godwin, who, by the <clears> way, his <throat> opponent is <clears throat> Gary. <laughs> and, um, so we're watching fantasy football. We're talking about the nightmare that is our two football teams. Um, well, he's watching this. I know he's locked in on mm-hmm. Baker. Yeah. Uh, let me just say, you know, look. I don't blame Gerard Mayo for any of this. Um, how can you blame a first-year coach who this is not his team? And you have to remember who built this team. Okay, his first draft was this year. Okay, Baker Mayfield, uh, not Baker Mayfield, uh, Drake May looks at least so far like he is legitimate. Okay, and that's in spite of the fact he's got nothing around him other than Pop Douglas and, and sometimes Hunter Henry. Um, I don't count Ramondre Stevenson because he's leading the NFL in fumbles right now. So how's he helping him? Yeah. Um, but the um, he's got him. Oh, he didn't get his feet down. Nope. Um, but um, damn it. The thing is this: you you can't fault a first year coach. What do you think? We'll go to the Super Bowl. Everybody knew this team stunk on paper. Okay. The fact that they've been competitive in most of these games, save for two of them, because um, you know he's not. And and by the way, he, he has no number one receiver. He has the worst line in the NFL. Um, you know, his defense His defense is injured right through the middle. They traded away the best defensive player, Matt Judon. What did you expect him to do? Yeah. I mean, honestly, they should have won three games, and, you know, that weren't that wasn't on him. So, I mean, this is just, um, you know, oh, he's got room. He's going to walk in. in. That's a touchdown yes! for you. Um, see that? Yes. Um, somewhere... Uh, Gary is throwing up in his fucking mouth. <laughs> oh, um, man. Buccaneers. Baker. Uh, making this respectable. Um, so, Baker comes through again. Who knew? Um, <laughs> I don't know why so, that made me spit up my drink. <laughs> because normally your team loses like this. But mm. now they're winning like this. This guy no, walks I almost in. spit up my drink when you said no. the Buccaneers making this Respectable. 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 <laughs> I don't know why it was funny. Well, it was, it was 41 to 18 two minutes ago, and now it's 41 to 30. They, yeah. yeah, I'd say they've made it look respectable. From a, from a bum blasting <laughs> to a, given what, and given what Derrick Henry is doing tonight, have you been watching this, lad? Uh, <laughs> my God. Yeah. I mean, this is the black Gaston. <laughs> yes. I mean, he literally, you know, black when I was Gaston. a lad. No, Gaston was I, such a douche. But he was a fucking hulking beast. He was a beast. He was a beast. He was like, <laughs> When I, I was hated Gaston. Everybody, I know, I know, because he was and the, an, and the actual beast was better. Yeah, but he was not. He was supernatural. Gaston was a man. He was like he was, like he was a fucking, douche. He was a douche, but he was a large douche. He was a, <laughs> he was a very douche. large douche. As douches go, he would fall into the very college, large. Douche. He would fall into the category of triple X. Huge okay. douche. A triple XL douche, if you will, sir. Oh, okay, large. so now what we need to happen so, is the Ravens recover this onside kick, and the game ends. Yes, for your sake, because then Goblin can't do anything else. Goblin can't do anything. <laughs> yeah. So that's the only way I lose this. So the Patriots suck, um, and the thing is this: <laughs> the thing is this, the Gerard Mayo, who we were talking about this off here. Let, let me remind you, donkeys up there that are criticizing him was an All Pro linebacker with the Patriots and a World Champion with the Patriots. You think he doesn't know what he's talking about? You think you know more than him? How many Super Bowls you donkeys have on your fingers? 
How many all pros at middle linebacker did you make in the NFL? This guy's career was cut short by injury to be in the Hall of Fame. He was that good uh, of a player. So when he sits there and says his players are soft, <laughs> let me tell you something, you fucking donkeys. You, he knows what this is a thousand times more than you. Okay? Damon Woody last week. You guys know Damon. He's a two-time Super Bowl champ with the Patriots. He called the Cowboys soft. Was he wrong? They got, they got bent over 47-9 to nine on their owner's birthday in their own fucking building. Was he wrong? Because I didn't hear anybody arguing about him or what he said. Oh, you know why? Because it wasn't your team. And it wasn't a shot at Bill who built this dark so, of a so fucking the, roster. So the fan base? The fan base is doing doesn't it. Doesn't like that he said it? Nope, not at all. Not, no, not, not all of them. Some of the ones that are smart are like, what are you talking about? They are soft. And let me, let me explain this because Bill Belichick, because he can't, it's like, by the way, he knows that shot at him because he built that roster. No, those guys are tough. That's not, that's not it. That's not it. Of course he's going to say that. He drafted every fucking one of them. Okay? And they all suck. Mm. Every fucking, they suck. Okay? They fucking suck. All right? So I don't want to hear are they, are they, Do they suck? Let, listen. When a 1-5 in five team, a 1-5 in five team, can run the ball 17 times down your fucking throat, that is the definition of soft as puppy poo. Dude, but it how is did, puppy poo. When did the defense soft and turn steamy. soft? Because we liked your defense. Should we start with the trade of Matt Judon, or should we start with the three mm. injuries right up the middle? Barmore, oh, their really? best down lineman, never played a snap. He went down in preseason. Then they lose their leading tackler from a year ago, Jennings. He goes down in game one. Jeez. They they are gutted right up the middle of this defense as so it they, is. Are and they Matt soft Judon is currently or is the in the personnel gone. Like they don't have any. The three. I just gave you the the only guy left out there. Stud is Gonzalez, the cornerback. Right, but 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 my question and is, he can't stop. So the are they a non-talented defense or are they soft? Okay. I'll tell you why they're soft. But you just were telling me they weren't good because they didn't have When you people. draft a player, if you're a good GM, it's not just on their talent. It's on their character. When you got run on 17 times, that's to your character. Mm. The, the, a one in five mm. team just lined up and said, we're going to ram it down your fucking throat, and you did nothing to stop it. In a foreign country where, you know, you're making an impression. Oh, they made one. <laughs> yeah. They made one. Um, well, they, they continue to make quite the impression I mean, as they go overseas. And the best part about it is, Remember I was Belichick's saying, game? the best part about this is for me, is I was saying this last year when all you donkeys were blaming Mac Jones. Mac Jones was on the other sideline, by the way, laughing his ass off, going, <clears> yeah. <throat> okay. Drake May actually had a good game. And just like the first game last year against Philly when Mac Jones outplayed Jalen Hurts, everyone forgets this, the Pats lost. Everyone blamed Mac Jones, who threw three touchdowns in that game. Well, Mac's not good enough. He outplayed the other quarterback. How was it his fault? Did he throw a pick early in that game? And then, yeah. And then he was great. Then he threw three straight touchdowns. Yeah. He, re he responded and then some. And he outplayed Jalen Hurts that day. He really did. And you're gonna And people were blaming him. Like, what the fuck? And he had the worst line in the league then. Okay, yeah. he had a full, and then before, the year before that, he had Matt Patricia, who's the worst football mind I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this fucking guy should be nowhere near a football field unless he's fucking cutting the grass. That's it. <laughs> That's the only fucking business he has on a football field. And why the Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles thought they should hire him after what he did there? By the way, when he was the head coach in Detroit, he destroyed Jared Goff right in front of your fucking eyes. But again, <laughs> you continue to ignore facts. And then Bill Belichick, who knows this is his roster, comes out and says they're not soft. <laughs> Like, shut the fuck up, Bill. Bill, you never played in the league. Okay, can I say something? The Deshaun Watson signing, trade, whatever the fuck Cleveland did to get him, we've said that potentially the worst GM move of all time. Potential. But there's one that's worse. <laughs> but the Patricia, there's one, there's one Joe Judge hiring hiring is is at worst on the same exact level as that Deshaun Watson one. Neither, it could be worse. It could be worse. The only reason I wouldn't say it's worse is because of all the charges that Deshaun Watson had against, like yeah. criminal charges yeah. that he had pending on him. Twenty five at the time, and there's more. By and the settled way. all of them. And so out of court. I mean, because you know, when was the last time we saw twenty? That's what makes that I think the worst. Uh, yeah. But this one, pure football decision, awful. My is the worst. Awful. Yeah, I mean, it's awful. 
The only thing is no bad. one can explain it. The only thing is bad is pushing Tom Brady out the door. Yeah. And what does he do? He goes and wins the Super Bowl the next year with a seven and nine team. What a do- talk about the donkey award. Dude, the thing about the donkey Bill, of the decade. When Bill award. made a mistake. He he made. Oh. I mean, he made the big Kahuna. If you want to give him credit for swinging for the fence on mistakes, okay, fine. <laughs> He didn't do it. And, he, and by the way, he, he never he did small. he didn't miss. No, no, these were grand slams. He was Babe Ruth yeah. when it came for swinging for he mistakes. Was <laughs> he was he was Ruth. He was Barry Bonds on steroids when it <laughs> <When he laughs> came to hitting <laughs> for mistakes. Yes. yes, yes. Oh man. So he, he was the Michael Jordan of the, mistakes. Yes, he really was. And those were back to back, by the way. Not, well, they were three years apart. Hey, by the way, well, just and, and coming way, off the Malcolm the way, Butler bench. By the way, by the way, the the Malcolm Butler benching in the Super Bowl. I mean, that's up there too. <laughs> wait, that's the, wait. There's another one. <laughs> he drafts to kill Harry. <laughs> that one too. Over Debo Samuel, DK Metcalf, AJ Brown, McLaurin, DeAndre. There were six balls. These bowlers. motherfuckers got the ball back. What? How? That's all right. Chris Godwin is a decoy right now. I'm winning this fucking game. Did he catch that one? I hope he did. Trey McBride is still stuck. What's the on. score? What's the score? I can't believe this game is not over, dude. I, yeah, because we need to it go was, to the other one. Actually, it's it 14, was forty-one. The other to, one is fourteen. It was four, listen, Chargers. In, in the time we've been on the air, okay, it was forty-one to eighteen. It's now forty-one to thirty-one, and and Tampa Bay has the ball again. I'm <laughs> just like, what the fuck? Look at Baker. 331 and three. Just don't throw a pick. Don't the throw two a pick. picks hurt him. Oh, oh God, that could have been a pick. If that guy had just undercut it instead of going for the block, he might not have been able What's to. What's the score in your game right now? You're up four? Uh, 130.8 to 126. He's up four, so just keep it away from Godwin. Of course, if he throws the touchdown to Godwin, it doesn't hurt because you get it too. Right, but I don't get as much as him. No, but it, will be, it wouldn't be enough to push Because him he over. gets six for the score, one for the catch, yeah. and whatever the yardage is. I get four for the score, zero for the catch. Sure. So totally like, like throw a bomb to yeah. Godwin. <laughs> yeah, that would <laughs> that would end me. Oh, you actually get yards, wouldn't you? Yeah, but with, don't fumble. Don't fumble. Oh Jesus, you're right. Don't fumble. With quarterbacks, I think you get one point for every twenty-five yards or something. Oh, yeah, so if he throws an eighty yarder, you get two, six points. <laughs> and he would get he would get eight for the eighty yards, it's six for six the, for the, the touchdown, touchdown, and one for the catch. Reception, yeah. I'd be fucking done. I'm a receiver, and that's not fair. <laughs> not even <laughs> close. close. It makes no sense. <laughs> makes no sense. <laughs> Dude, I can throw you five three-yard passes. Oh, geez, that's Godwin. That's Godwin. If he had fumbled. Oh, oh yeah, he's hurt. hurt. Don't root for that. Yeah, okay. but, yeah, but he's no, hurt. I wouldn't. No. <laughs> would never. Never. I mean, I mean, if he's just knocked out for the quarter, he's now no, right next no, week. That's that's not that's, that's not nice. dirty. Dirty. I don't ever want to see a guy. Although no one seemed to shed a tear when my quarterback went down in the first quarter last night of a game I could have won if he played. No, I think people did shed tears. Nobody shed a tear for your fantasy team. I know. Well, they should have. I lost first. Nobody gave a shit. <laughs> oh, now i got to open the Blackberry. I finished the apple. Oh. Oh, shit. Has he heard like that? Oh, God. Is it serious, serious? Jesus Christ. I didn't want that. Well, Todd Bowles is laughing. Todd Bowles is a donkey. So it can't be that bad, right? Um, I hope not. These guys are on a knee. You know, you know. I'm not going to speak about negative shit. So, anyway, ahead. before we switch to the, the G-Men, let me say in closing, Bill mm-hmm. Belichick, shut the fuck up. Okay, this is your roster, and the fact that they're blaming Gerard Mayo for what the trash you built is utterly ridiculous. <laughs> and then Gerard Mayo, former player, former All-Pro, calls him soft. Everyone had, applauds Damian Woody for calling the Cowboys soft. Oh, no, you can't call our beloved Patriots soft. You can't just <laughs> Bill Belichick. Like, fuck you. Remember now, that's the guy you're defending is the guy who said Brady was done. <laughs> Meditate on that, you dumb fucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fucking so ridiculous. Sick. Fucking stupid. Stupid. You're probably all Trumplicans, too. Idiots. Morons. <laughs> Fucking donkeys. Turning this political, eh? Uh, this segment brought to you by Crown Royal Blackberry. Special blend. Fucking donkeys. Okay? Flavored whiskey, because that's how I do it. Don't you mind about yourself as a coach. Yeah, right. You ever seen him play football? <laughs> that guy is not soft. Okay, <laughs> now let's talk about... 
no. the train wreck that is no, the New no. York Giants. The other, the, the other train in this two train collision. Yowzers. <laughs> I mean, we got a couple of steam engine locomotives I mean, these two, coming down the track. These two franchises are on the same Woo! track, and they're so stupid they don't realize no, it. Not the same trajectory, the same exact track. Now, are they going into each other, or are they both headed for the same wall? Who's to know? I know, but they're both in play for the number one draft pick. <laughs> that, that I do know. <laughs> Dude, Daniel Jones gets benched the other day. That was disgusting. Now, <laughs> once again, that team falters on a massive level. The Giants, by the way, are number two in the NFL and drops, but it's Danny Dimes' fault. Now, here's my thing. And he makes mistakes. He does. But to sit there and he, he's way down on the list of things to blame here. Way down. <laughs> He's got one discernible weapon in the passing game. If that guy goes out, the offensive coach forgets how to coach offense. Just fucking forgets. <laughs> it's true. It's fucking yeah, but, ridiculous. But I've so, played the game and I've coached the game, and honestly, that that's a load of shit. He goes out for two weeks and they fucking all the oh, it's the quarterback. You just changed the whole offense. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. Yeah, I don't know because and dumb fans that don't know that because they don't play don't recognize it, but real fucking people do. No, but there's real there's, football players. There's, also, coaches there's do. intelligent people that do a lot of stuff on Jones too, and the throws he doesn't make yep. that he should make. If there's look, there's culpability all over. I'm not that saying place. he doesn't deserve any of the blame. I think, he doesn't deserve most of it. I think it, is the all GM saying. deserves most of it. Most of it is the GM because Trash. somehow the way this roster is constructed, it's not working, and. Either do the real fucking rebuild, the or, Patriots, or get the fuck out of the, the way. The a holes who are gonna say get rid of Danny Jones. The Patriots just replaced their quarterback. They're worse than they were last year. <clears throat> They're fucking actually worse. So, and Drake May is actually playing well, like Mac Jones did at the beginning of the season. And it doesn't fucking matter because as he just said in the last segment, he's talking about his team. One man can't win a fucking game. Mm-mm. It's impossible. Especially that's this sport. It's more, it's harder in this sport than any other Dude, sport. Dude, but what what was so disheartening about the Giants? Oh no, not Godwin. Nope. Oh geez, not a pick. Over everybody. Don't subtract two right now. Dude, but here's the disheartening thing: is that you said no to Saquon. To save what? To save what? A few million where, dollars where, a year. Where is the? Where is the? You're where a, did that money go? You're a multi-billion-dollar entity. See, here's the thing. And you didn't sign, obviously, your best player. I don't know how much, 60% of the offense? At least. I mean, so you let him go to your most hated division foe who owns your ass. And he comes in as a member of that team and pounds you into submission. Bend you over. Doesn't even play most of the fourth quarter. Bent you over. You know, Sirianni, and I'll give Sirianni credit for this. I talk a lot of shit about Sirianni. Yeah. He goes to Saquon in the fourth and says, hey, man, you're 13 yards away from your career high. Mm-hmm. I want you to get it. Yeah. But it's up to you. That's cool, actually. That's amazing. That's cool. And he said, I'm getting ready to take the other starters out. But if you want to get it, I want you to get it. I'm going to keep you in. That's he pretty goes, cool. He gave me the option. And Saquon goes, nah, let the young guys eat. That's pretty cool oh, that Saquon shit. did that. But that's who Saquon is. Dude, it's cool on so many levels. Yeah, yeah. Saquon is that dude. He's you know, been that dude. He was that dude. Yeah. So, a, all the more reason why they shouldn't have let him go. All the more reason why. How do you not sign him for a few more million a year? Let me explain something to you. And this is why I got He's mad. another character cornerstone. You don't. Like Alonzo, we were talking. Now he's. Right you don't. Here's course. the problem with this, and it's twofold. It's twofold. You don't bring back your best offensive weapon and a couple over a couple of million dollars. That's bad enough. But then you turn around and you blame the quarterback after you just took his best weapon away. And you add his only weapon, as a matter of fact. And then you bring in neighbors, but that just basically offsets him. So you you him. take your only yeah, weapon. Yeah, and you just add a rookie. Your only dynamic weapon. You add a, a rookie. dynamic rookie weapon. Yeah, but he's still a rookie. Right. And he's missed two games because of injury because they're leaning on he's him. He's had big drops. Yeah, and imagine if these two were playing together right now. I think the Giants would be a lot better. Yeah, if, if, and, and you're not paying and, fucking neighbors anything. Because no, it's not a rookie, rookie deal. It's a rookie deal. It's, it doesn't make any sense. So where did all the money go? Because and, and not only that, he went to your rival. Yeah. You let that fucking yeah. happen. And the donkey owner, well, this is what I don't understand. Talk about the disconnect. Disconnect. That's see, rule also, one. You never let a guy go. At least the at least Brady left and went to another conference good. altogether. 
You don't let this guy in the same division. What the fuck is wrong with you? Have you not studied history? Yeah. <laughs> like, every time this happens, it blows up in the other team's face. Yeah. And it always, it always happens. It's just fucking stupid. Donk donkishness. Donkishness. Donk. So that's the Giants. And, and look, Dayball deserves a lot of blame, too. He's fucked this up six ways to Sunday. His attitude, his rhetoric, acting like he's got rings on his fingers. He may as an assistant, but he's got nothing as a head coach. Okay? And to talk like he's Bill Parcells. And no, no, I think no. he's tried to change that a bit this year. I think he has. Because, so I'll see him in press conferences. And this is where, you know me, I've killed, I've killed him. Yeah. But I've seen him make an effort to not be that asshole with the press. And it, it's funny because... They'll ask, they'll say something like, you know, what do you have to do to win a game like that? You know, and, he, and he goes, score more. Huh. Right? Yeah. Like an asshole. Yeah. But then he catches himself. And he goes, well, you know, we could have done this better. We could have done that. Like, yeah. And then he'll, so it's like he's trying not to be that asshole that he's been. Sure. Um, I think he is. I think he's right. I've seen you know, but it's, but it's not translating on the field. No, but again, they don't have a good roster. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like, you know, I, 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 this is why play. it's going to give you some yardage. Oh, yeah. Don't get hurt, Baker. Call timeout. Call timeout. No, no timeouts. We don't want any timeouts. That's right. You're ahead by points, right? You don't need any more? Yes. Okay. All right. There you go. Big one. Win, baby. Big W. Big W for T. Big T. Um, so, look, um, the, the Giants have an accountability problem at the top. Because, honestly, um, shit only rolls downhill if someone at the top pushes it. And it's funny how no one ever brings that up. Shit doesn't just roll downhill by itself. No, no, someone pushed so it. So you blame it. GM? First. Just like with the Patriots, first and foremost. Yeah, I mean, it's hard if not, you, it's if hard you, not to. If you build a shit roster, it's expecting a coach to do to take that shit and turn it into a Super Bowl team is ridiculous. You're lucky if they're competitive. Yeah. And it's not the coach's fault. Because in the end of the days, the Jimmys and Joes don't get it done. They just don't. Okay? You know, average, no, it doesn't work. You've got to get studs, especially on offense. In a game that is overwhelmingly geared towards offense, yeah. left tackle, center, number one receiver, tight end. Well, the How left the tackle fuck? did just go down for the year. And they have one of the better left tackles in the game in Andrew Thomas. Okay, fine. So they've got, what, two positions covered out of 12? To 11? <laughs> yeah. That's not good enough. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's no, not, no. not good enough. Of course not. It's not I was just, I was just yeah. making that comment. I wasn't. I wasn't trying to count. I mean, what you're saying. Uh, I'm just saying that I remember when what's his name, the left tackle for the San Francisco 49ers, was, who was the best left tackle his entire career, was on a shit bag team. He was the best left tackle in the sport, but they couldn't win. He had to go to Washington. Fight. Yeah. Why, why can't I? Why can't I remember his name? It's uh, I know I forget it too. He used to, I mean, he he. he I'll tell you what. Yesterday, he went. Dude, he was with Washington. Yeah. Um, Fuck, what's his name? I don't know, but he left Washington because they, they he was there for a while. They never won. Well, he said they botched something with his uh yeah, that too. medical. Right? Didn't he didn't he say that? But he's the best left tackle of this generation. Yeah, he's, he's been great for his entire career he's been fucking great. Or something? And just now is because he Is went it with Trent it, something? It's Trent Williams or Trent Brown? Trent Williams. Trent Brown. Trent Williams. Trent, okay. Trent Williams. Yeah. So he is now being recognized because his team is a winner. And they're a threat every year now. Whereas, whereas before, yeah. they, were, they wouldn't be lucky if they were 500. And he was the best left tackle yeah. in the game. John Hanna went through this with the Patriots for, for almost most of his career until 85. So he hasn't won one yet, huh? He's been there twice. It's, dude, that, that's something that needs to be talked about. And maybe the coach. It is. The coach. But, but Sam Fran, for, but not even just that coach. How do you have for that much For a long time, talent? they have had... Them One the, of the best defenses in the league. I mean, the front seven is all first-round draft what, picks. Fifteen years. They have five first-round draft picks in the front seven. Dude, but even look at mid two thousands when the Giants beat them in the in the fucking NFC Championship game in San Fran. Yeah. We weren't as talented as them. I know, but that defense was crazy. That's where coaching can kill you. I guess you're right. You know, coaching can kill you. If you if you look at how the fuck is this guy not won one now? Look at all the fucking talent that team has. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's worse than the Cowboys. But they, unlike the Cowboys, they've actually gotten to the Super Bowl twice. They just can't close the deal because he wets himself. All right, so I know you don't love this guy, but how much of it is, hey, you are in a time where Patrick Mahomes is here? Like, is do you feel like he's that good? And, I, and I'm not trying to say he's better than Brady. You know, like, not even that. Just how much credence do the you give The problem, 
Oh my God! No touchdown. Oh, that's the replay. Yeah. Sorry. Um, the problem is not Mahomes because Mahomes. Well, here's the thing. Mahomes has seven or eight interceptions this year. The Chiefs are undefeated. Their defense looks good. But the, yeah, but the opposing team's coaches have all they've the, the stuff they've dropping done. Dropping the ball. They're dropping the ball. Dude. They're overthinking it. Patrick Mahomes I mean, has not had a great game yet this season. And they're still beating people left and yeah, right. Yeah, because they're getting out coached. Uh-huh. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Dude, it's like I Andy thought... Reid is a great coach, but come on. I mean, yeah. just give me a break. They just lost their number one receiver. He threw two. He didn't even throw a touchdown on Sunday and they beat them. You, let me ask you this. He didn't throw a TD. He didn't throw a single touchdown pass. They go into San Fran and win. Explain that to me. He threw two picks, by the way. Were they running on him? No. The other quarterback threw three picks. <laughs> that was one problem. Turdy. Turdy. Brock Turdy, that's his new name, by the way. Brock Turdy. He gave him the name, Turdy. <laughs> Brock Turdy. <laughs> I said, Purdy just pinched a Turdy. Yep, Purdy. And then um, I turned into Turdy. Brock Turdy. Um, and by the way, until he went to the Super Bowl, from now after what he did yesterday, he's Brock Turdy. I don't care, if, I don't care if he see. lights up the fucking, you know, a 1-17 a for four touchdowns. So what we do against the Chiefs? Turdy. Turdy. He's going to be, he's the white Dak Prescott right now. <laughs> Brock Turdy is the white Dak Prescott. He is, damn. He, yeah. No, no. Yeah. He, what is he? Third year. Yeah, third year. I, no, you can't call him Dak Prescott. Yeah. He's had the most talented roster around him for three consecutive. Years. I understand, dude. But he he's was got the, nothing. He was the last pick he's in got, the draft. It, it, so what? So what? So he's. Did he's, he get drafted? Yes, I've seen right, undrafted but, quarterbacks but do no, more with but, with less. <laughs> Undrafted quarterbacks do more than him with, with less talent around Ooh. them. Who? Uh, who's the fucking guy? Hold on. Heineke. He hadn't done more. Where's Heineke gone? Heineke almost beat the world champion uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers with what? One guy? What, with a six and nine squad, they got they backed in. They did. They lost to them by two points. Are you kidding? They were outmatched by a fucking country mile. They lost by two fucking points, and he played as Purdy's good as. Purdy's the Super Bowl. He, Purdy has the best team in the league around him. Right, but you're saying that what is okay? So I'm so saying what Dan. Me, I'm saying what Dan. I'm, getting to I'm that saying wild card I'm game? saying what Dan Orlovsky said last year. And by wow. the way, he was proven right. I could take any quarterback in this league and put him behind that team, and they'd do mm, well. Okay, when you put it and, like that, and he it makes and he, more sense. He's to not me. wrong. He's not wrong. And the fact that Purdy hasn't mm-hmm. won a Super Bowl yet, and he's been there twice. Actually, he wasn't starting the last time. He was on the bench. But, I mean, the thing is, like, that team last year was... Well, he also got hurt one year. He got injured in the Eagle playoff game. You have to take that into account. That was, yeah. He that didn't get a chance to finish year. that one. Yeah. That was his first year. He yeah. was a four-string quarterback. Fault. I'm not faulting him for that. He got hurt. And I'm he saying... Was, he was the four-string quarterback. Look, when he is played... He didn't come in until what? How, how did he play in the Super Bowl last year? I don't remember. You know why? Because <laughs> he was fucking, he was what bad. the fuck? He, he was useless. He was fucking just, anybody could have done what he, he was. He was just not even a factor. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck are you doing? You're going to have Pro Bowls everywhere you fucking look. You had a healthy McCaffrey. <laughs> what the fuck? You How'd couldn't, you Debo, how the fuck did you lose that game? <laughs> and Pat Mahomes didn't play great in that game. <laughs> what the fuck did you do? Pat Mahomes didn't throw for 500 yards and five touchdowns. <laughs> Give me a break. No, no, I'm not fucking hearing. And the thing is, it's like, it's like. All right, so Patrick Mahomes is not the issue. He's thrown eight picks. Tell me what he's doing. <laughs> What's he doing? I'm glad I didn't draft him in fantasy. Oh my god, he's what doing worse numbers? than I had him last year. Is he worse than last year? Yes, way worse. <laughs> I remember when you drafted him first overall, and he totally shit the bed. Last year, he threw six picks all season. Oh. He's thrown eight already. And by the way, the season isn't half done. What is and that? they're undefeated. What was that, week seven? They're 7-0 and oh right now. Dude, we can actually look and see how we did on picks right now. We can. Should we? Sure. Um, I beat you by a game. Did you? Yep. About time. It's only week seven. <laughs> Last time I checked, there were 11 more to go. <laughs> um, as far as I know, that's the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I won. <laughs> we're, closing the, we're closing the voting booth dude, right I now. I wish we could put that other game on. I know, it sucks that we can't. It's fucking 14-12, dude. I know, I don't get it. That's a Donnie. 249. How come we... I don't have it on here either, I'll bet. Hold on, let me 
Oh shit! And the Chargers are about to score. Oh wait. Oh, I don't have I don't have Hulu. Let me see something. They're not on this, right? Couldn't I couldn't find, find them. It says it's on ESPN Plus. Do you? I might. Do you have ESPN Plus? Can I do sports here? <laughs> the Jets. Uh, where's? Do I do? Can I do? Wait. Let me see if I can. No. What are you trying to do? I was trying to find a set like. Oh wait, right. Sports. Let me go into sports and see what's up. Wait, is that it? Wait, see what happens. That is it. That is it. Can I tap hit it? it? Wait, go to? Go to, yeah. How do I go to it? Choose the version you want. Okay, okay. I got it. I got the version I want. Just go there. Just I go. guess we can't watch it. Go there. Oh, if the replay is at 1 a.m. Oh, fuck, fuck off. Fuck you. You suck, dick. You can't. <laughs> you suck, dick. It's See terrible. you next it's Tuesday. Terrible. <laughs> <It's> terrible. <laughs> that <laughs> sucks so bad. Anyway, <laughs> what a tease. It's like, oh, yeah, pick the one you want. Yeah. We see it. We yeah, see it. The recording starts in two hours. <laughs> like, like, fuck off. <laughs> anyway, so the Pats and the Giants blow. And um, who do you think's in worse shape? You are. Giants? You are because you guys have your quarterback. We have well, if he's still upright with the end of the season, if he's alive at the end of it, um, he got hit again on Sunday. Um, but can you literally look at him and think that's our franchise quarterback? You already feel that way. I think that what I said at the beginning of the season stands. I thought he could have started as a rookie. It just had to be the right situation. This is not it. Now, through two games, to his credit, he's played pretty well overall. Five touchdowns, two interceptions. You can't argue with that. He's completing 64% of his passes. You can't argue with that. So he's playing well, but he's taking a lot of hits oh, already. He's getting, he's getting hit? He's not, he will not make it to game 17 if he continues to take hits like this. And, and the thing is, this is how Mac Jones got destroyed. Mac Jones had a great rookie year. They made the fucking playoffs. He made the Pro Bowl as a rookie. He, he lost out on offensive rookie of the year by, by like four votes to, Jam, to Jamar Chase, who broke the re rookie receiving record. That's who beat him. And then they hire Matt Patricia. <laughs> they don't draft a number one receiver ever. They don't fix the fucking line uh, you know, ever. I'm they draft sure defense. Bill team. bought the book, How to Sabotage. How the do you, yeah, Lewis Riddick. Lewis Riddick, who is a staunch Bill Belichick backer, said, hey, if you want to find the textbook on how to destroy a quarterback, go up to Foxborough. <laughs> he said that about uh, Belichick, D Daniel Jones too. Yeah, he's right. And Danerowski, who's a quarter, agree with him. Okay, Danerowski is the one who said more quarterbacks are destroyed in this league than built. There's two examples. And then look at Sam Donald when he goes to Minnesota. Look at fucking uh, Gino when he leaves the, and goes to fucking Seattle. They, they're not wrong. Yeah, the evidence is there. It's there. So, look, he has crazy man. He has played. It's unfortunate. Uh, he has played. He being Drake May, he uh, Drake May, he has played well. He has. I have to give him credit. Chargers just well. went up fifteen. He hasn't 14. shown me anything I didn't already know about him because I, I thought he, I thought I thought he could be a starter as a rookie. I thought he was that good. I just didn't think it could be here because of what's around him. And I don't want to see him get destroyed. I just watched this with Mac Jones. You think I want to watch this again? And it wasn't Mac oh. Jones's fault, and it's not this kid's fault. If this kid fails, it won't be his fault. I'm telling you that right fucking now. It will not be his fault. It will be the fucking organization's fault for not building around him or getting the pieces first and then get your fucking quarterback. They set, they're setting this kid up to fail. That's the fucking problem. And they just did this, and I don't want to watch it again. I don't. And I don't want to hear about how he's more talented than Mac fucking Jones. I don't give a fuck. The most talented quarterback doesn't always win or just forget about TB12, you fucking idiots. I swear to God, you're fucking idiot some Jesus, you piss me off. The venom. the venom is there because these fucking donkeys don't get it. Okay? You think Tom Brady was the fuck? Give me a fucking they break. They can't all be as good as you, RJ. No, they can't all be. It's common sense. They can't all have it. No shit. <laughs> It's unbelievable. And then with the Giants, I don't know what's going on. On I know Mac. I know that, that Daniel Jones is getting the brunt of this At fucking this play. At this point, they've got to move on. Yeah, it's not even his fault it's anymore. Whether get he, him out of there, right? You're it's killing just, the kids. Just, just get over it. Like the fans don't want him. It seems like the organization they don't fucking you know destroyed they want the him. kid. Like, just they fucking destroyed him. Just like the pages took a little let longer. Let him go somewhere. The only thing you didn't do was actually you fired Joe Judge. Okay, <laughs> but you, at least you did that. 
We fucking hired the dog. Well, I mean, Daniel I mean, Jones has seen like what four or five coaches. This is the other thing. Uh, How many I mean, fucking offenses has he been in? But I know one thing. Tom Brady had one offense. They are not going to win a Super Bowl with Daniel Jones. And if they keep doing whatever the fuck it is they're doing right now, they're never going to get out of this hole. So let's just reset it. Go all the way. Don't don't have these years where we come in going, oh, you think we'll be any good? And then we just Okay, but let me up. ask you this. If you're going to reset it, who are you drafting first? You've got your number one wide out. That's not a problem. No, so it's not about that. It's well, about you're gonna go getting off. the front office changed because they're drafting the wrong people. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to say this right they now. They have drafted offensive line I'm gonna say this right over now. and over again. And if, they're missing Jones, and missing if Daniel missing. Jones leaves and goes to a team with, with any kind of talent and he starts to fucking win, you are never going to hear the end of this from me. It'll just be the latest example of a guy who got fucked over and then he went somewhere else, had a little bit, and look at him. Dude, I fucking I, but, but I no. can't wait for this because you know what it's gonna fucking happen. You're gonna never gonna let me hear the answer. Not you. Just I'm not fucking, telling I'm them tell, that I'm Daniel Jones is the problem. I think no, he but is I'll part bet, of the I'll problem. I'll bet a lot of you. He's part of the problem because of what's the environment he's in. He can't overcome it. Yeah, well, that's part of the problem. And, well, what quarterback could? I don't know. Tom Brady, maybe. Maybe. Eli Manning. Eli Manning had help. He had Amani Toomer. He had some. He had some studs. He had, some great he had fucking Ma- Michael. Remember Michael Strahan, first ballot fucking Hall of Famer, top ten defensive lineman of all time, maybe. Yeah, you think he didn't have help? What does Daniel Daniel Jones had? Saquon Barkley. You let him go. That's all he fucking had. And you, he's the only guy you could have, that you could even put from a talent we had, perspective. We had Amani Plexico. You had he had studs. Eli had help. We didn't have, I mean, we had two good backs. Neither mm-hmm. one of them was Saquon Barkley. But, but they were good. They were good backs. Yeah. he had Eli, Eli was we not. Had, but also, we had one of the best offensive lines in the league. He had a good coach, too. We had a lot of stuff. Yeah. Had not, nothing. This this kid has none of this. Yeah. This kid has none no, of but, this. No, but here's he's supposed my, but, to overcome it. But my it? thing is that <laughs> you just you got to let him go. It's over here. Too much wrong has been done. Yeah. So... You'd be doing him a favor. So I don't know who the fuck they should draft next year. Honestly, I'm I'm, I'm saying, a little hopeless with this franchise. I, I'm saying that if you don't fix that fucking line, you could put God in the draft. It wouldn't matter. Yeah. And I know this, but because Drake May is proving it right before our very fucking. That's also why eyes. they need somebody else picking the players because fire the GM. They have tried on offensive linemen, and for some reason They've their line still. How many stinks. times can you miss? I don't know. And not be held accountable. I mean, they got a first-round draft pick from three and years ago. And it's the right It's the now. O'Mara family or the O'Hara family? O'Mara? It's the Mara family. The Mara family. Yeah. The Mara family is one of the sacred cows of the history of this league. They should know as well as anyone, because they've got four rings, what it takes to build a champion. Yeah. The fact that they've let this go on with this GM for far too long. Far too long. Well, no, they're, they're, he's picking the right position. He's picking the wrong players. And as I said last year, fire the scouts. What the fuck are they doing? Player they, personnel. Rebound. Player personnel needs to fucking go. They suck. I'm yeah. sorry. Whatever intel they're giving him is bad. Okay? Yeah. If, if you're going to sit there and tell me, well, he's drafting the right position. Okay, but he misses every fucking time. What yeah. intel is he getting? That's a fair fucking question. Yeah. Okay? I, I mean, I, I like yeah. I like some of the guys they drafted this year, but... It's too early to tell with them. Yeah. But if you look at the last eight years... Yeah. Give me a fucking well, break. Well, that's not this GM. Well, when, how long has this GM been around? This is his third year. He came in with Dable. All right. Well, if this is his third draft that's in here now. Mm-hmm. He's part of the issue. You, you should see something yeah. that doesn't look like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay? I'm not yeah. saying they should be a championship, but they should be decent. Year three? Look at what happened in Detroit. Look no further than what happened in Detroit. Perfect fucking example. The guy goes three and thirteen his first year. He goes nine and eight his second year. In his third year, they go fucking twelve and five, 13, 13 and four, whatever it was. And they're in the NFC Championship in his third year. See here, they look nothing so like here's, this. So here's here's one. Th- so yeah, and GM has to take a brunt of that. Now here's the thing that I think fucked with them, and I think I think it was Geo on the radio, the guys that uh, Boomer and Geo. Yeah, he has said. They had success too early for the plan. Because they made the playoffs two years ago. They made the playoffs the first year. Yeah. And he thinks that fucked everything up. Because they came into it and it going... They won a game, too. Yeah. They didn't just go on the road. road. Yeah. 
against a great a division, offense. Yeah, they should. Yeah. So. And Danny Dimes played well. So what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, he looked yeah. great. Mm -hmm. And. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was almost like they came in and said, hey, here's our process. This is how we're going to change this place. And then it was like, oh, shit, we're a playoff team? And did but, that fuck up what they were well, doing? I, well, let me ask you this. And we never actually, I never asked him this question. This is my fault because I should have asked him this question. At the end of last season when we took our, you know, we, 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 we recapped the season on both teams. The question I never asked him um, was that what do you think went wrong from a personnel standpoint that they took this huge step back? Was it so simple as Barkley getting injured or Danny Dimes getting? Was it that or was it there was? Because it, it seemed to me like they were headed in the right direction, and then all of a sudden Not at the end of last year. No, at the end of last year they was like they, they nosedived. Yeah. So what causes that? So I mean, it was when you say hmm. uh oh they got too good too fast. But wait, what does that mean? <laughs> well, so, so I'm not saying too good too fast, but like. What you outlined, because now that is kind of what Gia was saying, and I think what a lot of people say. But what does that mean, though? So the thing is, like, what you outlined with Dan Campbell in Detroit is is a progressive situation. He came into it knowing, hey, the first year I'm going to do these things. That was Matt we're, Patricia's we're, mess. We're going to suck. That was Matt we're, Patricia's. We're going to suck, but we're going to build a foundation and we're going to springboard. Okay, talk about a steam. Now here's the thing. Dump. So. So Dable and Shane come in, and that's their plan, too. Mm. We're going to have a rough year this first year, but we're going to set the foundation. We're going to build the culture. Mm. And then year three, that's when we're going to take off. Okay, they get to the playoffs. They go, oh, fuck. Daniel Jones looked really good for a lot of that year. Let's give him $140 million. Let's go for this thing. Okay? Yeah, that's Truth is, their culture was not built. Okay, because... I think it can be hard to build culture when everything's going good. Because a lot of the shit is false. You don't really get to see who people are because everything went well. So, tough to build culture in that environment. They obviously didn't because last year, everything went to hell. Everything went to hell. Dayball was erupting on the sidelines. He became this disgruntled coach. The yeah. somebody went to ownership or, or to the GM anonymously and said, hey, the things he says to us are at, like crossing the line, the way he rips people to shreds. So the GM, Joe Shane, started listening in to the fucking broadcast of the coaches talking during a game. Mm. He started listening in. Yeah. And Dayball, and they said Dayball wouldn't yell at anybody when he knew Shane was listening. So, I mean, this is culture fire. I mean, is, their, their culture was just up in flames. By the way, a good GM never comes up with a solution like that. Why the fuck? That, what I'm is, pulling everybody in a room and going, what's the fucking that's, problem? Yeah, that's like, that, there's no way yeah. a good GM is, that's not what you no, do. That, that's not how you solve that's that. That's the last thing you fucking do because you just made it public. Exactly. You don't. That's an in-house situation. A good GM that never gets out of the locker room doors, because he yeah. goes down there and he fucking addresses first the players, then he pulls the coaches into another room, and then he talks to them. It yeah. never goes public. You never know what happens. It's this yeah. is a shit show. No, and then at some point you bring everybody together. Yeah, but the point is, but it never. What the fuck is wrong? It never goes public. Oh well, it the, never gets I mean, out. But you know why? I'll tell you why. Because once it gets out, that everybody becomes their own lawyer. Because mm. everybody now, because now what you know what happens when it gets out? Now the media is coming to everybody, mm. and now you got to take sides and do shit like that and cover your ass, and because nobody wants to be the, you know what I mean? This is the thing. That's why a good GM. This never gets out. But so so I don't know why the 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 culture became that toxic. It's obviously more than we know. Yeah, we the, don't know more, everything. The, but, more stuff went on than we know. But that yeah. second year, they went from. Unexpected to success to yeah. immediate adversity yeah. right off the jump like just, last year. And maybe it started with Dayball. I don't know. I yeah. wasn't in training camp. I wasn't. I don't know. No, I think it was a perfect storm. Kind I mean, of thing. it could have been. Bad start to the year. I DJ just, gets hurt. It, yeah, and I then, mean, you yeah. know. They just, you know, but the thing is like. Big expectations when they weren't really that good personnel wise. We're looking at their roster now. Last year. It's a lot of the same players. Right. They weren't as yeah. good as that year thought made us think they were. 
Especially if you take Saquon off the team. Well, this is the other thing. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's why? where the GM fucked up. That's the biggest it. fuck up. I don't get it. I just don't. I can't. And I watched Belichick destroy the Patriots, so I didn't get that either. Because he's supposed to be a football genius. And that was just, that was the opposite of genius. So, look, I, the only reason I say the Patriots are in a better place right now is only because it's Mayo's first year. They, and they're struggling. They're struggling because everyone knew they were going to struggle. They were struggling last year. Right. But to turn around and blame Mayo for that is utterly ridiculous. That's silly. And for a former all-pro player to call a team soft, he has the right. Because he was in the damn locker room. He's also room. their coach. He's their coach. And if he says they're playing soft, they're playing soft. And sometimes it's not the fucking coach. These people go, well, you're a soft coach. Uh, Belichick wasn't a soft coach. How'd they look last year? But also, it could be, he could be trying to push. He could be trying to motivate them. He is. You know what I'm saying? Like He's holding them accountable. You're right. Oh, wow. We're soft right now. Across the board. And by the way, they said it starts with, by the way, what everyone forgets in this fucking soliloquy is he goes, it starts with me. I have to coach it better. So once he said that, he goes, I got I to gotta do better. Mm. I do. Me. He didn't go they. The, he said me. He didn't even say we. He said me. It starts with me. That's accountability. And by the way, kudos and then to him. Did he say? We're because soft? He, he said we are soft right now across the board, and it starts. I have to do. I have to do better first. So he took. A, he said it, and then he was the first one who said it, it starts with me. Because if he just said that and okay, walked Jerome. off, you walk off. Oh, I can see a little bit of that, but still, he's a former player. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt on that. But yeah. then he goes, it's it's it's. Uh, it starts with me. Wow, Arizona came back. We picked the Chargers. I know. We Let's both score. picked the Chargers. Let's score. 17-15. How much time? It's over. They won. So the the Chargers yeah. kicked a field goal with two minutes left. Uh, yep. To go up 15-14. <laughs> mm. mm-hmm. So I guess, uh, yeah, so they ended with a field goal. Wow. Yeah. Sorry. Walked right out the air. <laughs> it's all good. You had to spit. I had to spit. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, go so on. it was a walk-off yeah. field goal. So, look, I mean... And we're going to add this segment on this because we're going to come back and talk to WBA. But um, um, this and uh, NBA, maybe? Yes, we have to. Big game tomorrow night. Certain Our ban- guys. Certain banners going up. Um, we'll talk about that. But uh, the thing is this. Look, they both suck. Um, the Patriots, just by <laughs> virtue suck. of they're, they're a little bit lower on the totem pole right now in terms of where they are. But they have the, 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 the Giants. But in terms of future, we suck more. Yeah, right now you do. Because I don't know what this GM is going to do. Uh, hopefully he's not going to be your GM after the season. He should go, too. They both should go. <laughs> Both of them. Do you remember? You're going to fire Dave Ball, fire the Jay. Oh, yeah. yeah, Fire the Jay. No, they're they're a package deal. You fire one, you fire both. Get them both the fuck out of here. Honestly. To me, it's kind of the same thing with DJ. DJ, I'm sorry. Let him go. Let Dave Ball go. Honestly, you're doing him a favor. (laughs) He'll he'll revitalize his career somewhere else. He'll get a shot somewhere else because he's tough. And by the way, he's a good locker room guy. He holds himself accountable. Um, He's never once cried about this what's around him. It's just the one thing. When when did Daniel Jones ever once cry about what's around him? He's, he's taken. Cried. He's never done it. And by the way, another character guy that you're going to let go. And I promise you, he gets a shot somewhere else, and he has any talent. You watch. You heard it here first. Segment mm-hmm. three coming right up. <laughs>